Hey y'all, it's your girl Brie and welcome back to another YouTube video. What's poppin', what's good? And we're back with another Halloween tutorial makeup look, okay? Get into this face, honey. I call this a little jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, we're just getting into it, you know what I'm saying? This is who inspired me for today's Halloween look and I've been following her for a while now. Every Halloween look, or every, every season, every Halloween season, she just comes out with something fire okay these were the two looks that she had done to help me create today's look but yeah i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe share and yeah let's just jump right into the video hey y'all what's popping what's good so i'm going to use the abh dip brow pomade in the shade granite and i'm going to use the 7b abh eyebrow brush to apply everything and then to set my brows, I'm gonna use the Busy Gal Brows by Tarte in the shade Black Brown. And for primer on the eyes, I'm gonna use the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer, the best primer on the market, period, no question. Also, if you see me making faces and making comments, I was watching Real Housewives of Potomac and I watched the debate that happened. So yeah, those are my faces for that. Next, I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place with Hollow Palette, and I'm gonna take this orangey coral shade. And with my Morphe MM4 brush, I'm just going to create circular motions in the crease. And of course, I forgot my eye tape. What's nine plus 10? 21. You stupid. So I went and put that on and then went back to doing circular motions in the crease with that same color. Next, I'm gonna take the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3 and I'm going to take a matte true orange shade with a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna pat it onto my lid. I didn't even take off the excess powder because that's why we do our eyes first, but it doesn't have any fallout really, so it was easy for me to apply on both eyes. And I felt like I could get true pigment out of the flat shader brush versus trying to pack it on with like a fluffier brush. I just feel like that just set the tone for everything. So it made everything so much easier. So flat shader brush right all over on the lid. And I try to blend the two colors together so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand and I'm gonna get the Morphe M431 Precision Pencil Crease Brush. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put on like a liner, like an eyeliner. I don't have an eyeliner brush. I probably should get one because it probably would have been easier but still it did the job of what I wanted it to do. So I'm basically putting it on as like it's a liquid liner and um, always do this on each eye one at a time so like I said in the last video glitter primer glitter glitter primer glitter like don't try to do it all at once I'm gonna go back in the Wahala palette and take this glitter with the same brush and I'm gonna pat it on to where the glitter primer was applied and this glitter, I honestly did not think it was gonna be like that good, but it is that good, okay? Juvia's did the damn thing with this glitter, okay? And I kind of made it winged liner. So I put the primer all the way outside of the lid and then I'm putting the glitter over top. So pretty simple concept. Did that on the other eye as well just the same thing glitter primer primer what <laughs> bro what are you talking about man no not glitter primer primer stupid glitter primer then glitter so this is what your eyes should be looking like so far and next i'm going to get the abh liquid eyeliner it's just black and we're gonna make a jack-o'-lantern but clearly i did not know which way or how to go 
I don't. I didn't know. But I figured it out eventually. And you're going to make two triangles on your lid. Two small triangles to represent the jack-o'-lantern's eyes. Back to today, we closed up the greatest economy in the world in order to fight this horrible disease that came from China. Trumpy saying something. Trumpy always saying some stupid shit. Now I will say I wish I had went a little higher with the eyes, but it's okay. It still worked out. Um, but just for future reference, try to go a little bit higher on your lid because I keep forgetting that I have hooded eyelids, so it's not going to act the same, but it still served its purpose. Like you can still see the face of the jack-o'-lantern. So what I did, since it wasn't high enough, but it was still good enough for people to see if I ever closed my eyes, is I just made a smiley face right on top of the liner. And when I tell you, I thought that liner, or not on top of the liner, but on top of the glitter, I thought that glitter was going to move as soon as I touched it with the liquid liner. And it didn't. It didn't budge. It didn't move. It didn't do anything. So, like I said, that glitter primer is the truth. I love that primer. That glitter is the truth. I love that glitter in that palette. Like, I really thought it was going to move. But it didn't, so I'm glad. This is what it should be looking like so far. We're gonna remove the eye tape and get into this face. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer the original and then I'm going to set the primer with the Derma Blend translucent powder. Next I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation in the shade 305 Warm. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand and just blend that in with their blending egg. Then next I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in this shade. Oh for the orange corrector not the shade for the orange corrector. And I'm going to put that over any darkness that I may have. I'm going to use the Air Brush Blurring Concealer Brush from It Cosmetics. Um, side note, this concealer is okay. But later on, you're going to see that I low-key had a problem with it. At least with under the eyes. It's not the best concealer I've ever tried. But it's not the worst either. I don't know if it was because... I don't know. Yeah, what are you going to do? You! You'll see what I'm talking about here. Maybe it was my sponge or... I don't know, but... Unacceptable condition! Unacceptable! So I fixed that with the, with the blending brush and then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder, loose setting powder with the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. And I'm going to go right into bronzing slash contouring with the Beauty Bakery Bounty Bar. Use any angled um, brush that you have. This is by It Cosmetics, but they don't make it anymore. I do like the Morphe E4 brush. And this brush is from that BH Cosmetics set. And I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio with the middle shade. I'm forgetting the middle shade's name right now, but I'm taking the middle shade and I'm putting it all on the cheeks and on the nose, of course. Then I'm going in back with the Norvina palette and I'm taking this bright orange, like shimmery shade. I'm putting it into the corners of my eyes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am taking the matte orange shade again with the Morphe E441 brush and smudging it underneath my eyes on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the bright 
orange sparkly shade and put that on the inner corners of my eyes. Next, I'm gonna take the Beauty Bakery Highlight Palette. What is it called? Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette. And I'm gonna take the bottom right shade with the Morphe M532 Deluxe Highlight Brush. And I'm just gonna highlight the cheeks, the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, wherever the light hits is where I'm highlighting. Okay, period. I'm going back in with the black lipstick again from Urban Decay, but like I said, I don't know if they make that anymore. So those are the options that you can choose. And I'm gonna go outside of my lips a little bit, kind of create like little curves, kind of like little spikes, if you will, on the side. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Grandiose Waterproof Mascara. This is like my favorite mascara of all time. It does everything, lift lengthens, like volume. It just does all three. Don't ask me to do lashes no more because the last time I did lashes, it was a mess. I couldn't do it, I don't know why. And yeah, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. This is the outfit that I will wear with it here. Just um, an orange, what is that? An, <laughs> it's an orange, oh my God, what is that? It's an orange, oh my God, what is that? It's an orange bodysuit, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing an orange bodysuit, some biker shorts, same boots from last video, and a black oversized men's jacket. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. I think I got one more Halloween look for y'all. We'll see. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.